Hey everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by the Accidental Artist on Instagram, my blog, and here, also Facebook. I'm going to share today with you a special presentation to help you get organized for the fall. It's basically a ballet teacher's capsule wardrobe for the year. I have found that often I'm rushing around, uh, try to find what I'm going to wear to ballet to teach that night. I even go through the same thing about taking class. So I've settled when I started putting my clothes together this fall, I thought what a great idea. So I see that all the time on YouTube for general people, a capsule wardrobe. I didn't know what that was till I started watching them. But when I pulled out my favorite things I like to wear to teach, I noticed there was a, there was a trend. So basically most of the things I like to wear to teach are black, charcoal gray, <laughs> light gray, white, and dusty rose. So I pulled out some components today to share with you and also some ways of storing them. Now, if you're an adult ballet student, you'll like this too, because I, I know that a lot of adult ballet students will wear things that aren't just a leotard and tights. So when I teach, I like to be comfortable, but still look professional and be able to move and bend and all that sort of thing. So what I do actually for my leotards, which I don't usually wear to teach, um, is I store them in little bins and drawers. And where I first thought of this was with that KonMari method of um, decluttering your home and organizing your clothes and your possessions. I really, really like it. All my drawers are, have folded clothes. So let me just share with you real quick. This, ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> organization of all my camisole leotards by colors and here we go so I might wear one of these under an athleisure wear shirt or a nice dance t-shirt but more often I wear them when I take a class this is my long sleeve leotards in the smaller bin one's navy I have two or three black ones and then over here oh these are my well I have a black all-purpose unitard that I might wear um, and then I have a cap sleeve black and I have um, various short sleeve leotards and they all happen to be black classic for ballet right anyhow so when I teach or take class nine times out of ten especially for uh, teaching I always wear a skirt but nine times out of ten for a class I'll wear a skirt too so there gets to be so many things. So I'm keeping my leotards in those little, um, little whatever they are, containers from Ikea that zip and fold flat. But then I bought these hangers the other day and I'm trying them out for my capsule wardrobe. Um, where These are really for pants. So I thought I'd layer my various teaching and uh, sometimes dance tops. And you can see I've got black, I've got one I made because I love cats. We had two kitties. Another one I made out of stretch lace and then a lace top and I have a headband I made um, as well that's pink and gray and white. So it fits in perfectly with anything that I might want to wear to teach. I'll maybe give you a little closer look at those in a minute. But right now I just wanna give you an overview. So all of that can fit in you know, a couple hangers in my closet and I can just reach for them when it's time to go. And all of these different components will go with each other. This is a short sleeve cotton, a little bit of stretch uh, t-shirt. Here's kind of a, um, I guess it's a lightweight jersey. And these two are athleisure wear that Yoga Club gave me last year. I love them. Let me see the name of them because they're moisture wicking. And I noticed that they really are. I don't want to be, um, you know, uncomfortable when teaching. I'm sure that you don't either. These are by MPG. And again, I'll take some of these off and show you a close up in a minute. Here's another top that I uh, did receive from Yoga Club by Gaim, G A I A M. And they're this typical kind of um, workout tops with the crisscross back. And what I really like about them for teaching is that they have these you know, sort of mesh panels on the side. So they're super comfortable, neat and attractive, and they come down to almost mid thigh. I, I find that a very sleek and easy outfit to wear. Um, in fact, this is a long sleeve type. 
when it gets a little cooler this autumn and winter I like to wear this one you see how it has the mesh sleeves for breathability and then it's long right and then this is um, opaque now I won't be showing my belly ever teaching or taking class actually <laughs> um, I do wear high waist leggings but I probably still have some sort of um, you know comfortable tank top under it for teaching or um, maybe a leotard if I was wearing it to class for a warm-up this is one I made um, I just bought some stretch mess and the little lycra kitty cats long sleeve as a top over the leggings and maybe a little skirt I'll show you my skirts in a second <clears throat> and then over here we I bought this is actually for scarves but I thought what a great way to tuck in your tights um, or leggings uh, so over here I've got these I love I bought them a year ago at the Nordstrom sale I saw that they still had them this year they carried them as a regular thing they're by Zella they're high-waisted black really supportive I love the kind with the band across the top and I won't wear them unless they're high-waisted because it's just annoying to have you know a low waist keep slipping down when you're moving and then I uh, was gifted some tights by Zara Lee I love them and I'm going to get some more because the Zara Lee tights have some kind of um, way of um, making them support your legs some kind of special weave and I can tell the difference they are really really comfy support your muscles and if you're teaching or you have a long day of rehearsal that's fantastic this pair of leggings these three leggings were given to me by yoga club um, or I should say yoga box they have like a gift subscription I'm not affiliated with them but ugh. like this one I'll show you it's really pretty it's about the most kind of color I'd wear to teach I'm pretty uh, stick with the traditional and classic but it has a tiny bit of blush in it so when I pair it with where did that little top go it's so pretty this pink top right here and these leggings you can see it just picks up oh goodness <laughs> a hint of a hint of pink and then I just put a black skirt you know over the top of these high-waisted leggings so now I was doing these in little drawers too that I could roll up I could do that but my idea of this is to pre-separate um, you know my clothes ahead of time so I can just grab them and go when it's time to go teach and I've already have it all thought out um, this pair of leggings you see I'm just stuffing them through the hole and then here's your usual ballet pink tights um, this is a little top by body wrappers about a few years ago it looks teeny it is teeny it's just out of tights but what you can do is say you have a, a tank leotard and you want to be a little more modest or covered you can just slip this on top in the old days we used to cut off our tights as you probably know you know done that and cut out the whole of your old tights and you put your your arms through the legs well it kind of creates that same thing but this actually has the body part um, going down anyway I was going to say that these white leggings are super non-traditional for me but I tell you they're by peony they are so comfy and you can tell they are high-waisted and they hold you in I, I love 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 these and I got the cutest shirt with them that's a um, cotton uh, that has a little tie around the waist I'll show you that in a minute and then these other tights or leggings rather are also high-waisted they're not high-waisted I don't keep them <laughs> I can't I give them to friends this is a little pair of see the nice high band of gray and black kind of like a little graphic design it almost looks kind of like leaves I think these are really really nice let's see who they're made by um, they may it's just by uh, glider and they feel very soft but thick 70% polyester and 30% spandex so they're really you know they move with you but they're supportive as well so let me just toss some of this over here <clears throat> one of my um, favorite t-shirts this is by bestpoint.com that is so cute I'll put the link below if you like this the only the only bad part about it 
is when you're teaching. <laughs> I noticed the summer I was teaching in an intensive and some of the younger students were just staring at my t-shirt trying to read what it said and copy it. So I guess it could be a little distracting. But hey, it's fun. Over here is just another charcoal gray. If it's soft, I'll buy it. And I love this. It's a very inexpensive t-shirt by Matty, M-A-T-T-Y, I believe. I bought it at Costco a year or two ago, Matty M. Rayon and spandex, primarily that, and which I think it's like a viscose. Um, has a nice detail in it. Like the sleeve is kind of rolled and then, um, you know, what do you call that? Where it's tacked, tacked. And then the back has this nice French seam that's flat on the back. So it's a really nice charcoal gray. It goes with, you know, obviously any of these leggings. Uh, let's see. I have a lace top that is one of my favorites. Um, and I wear it over a certain leotard. It's nice. It's just kind of a boxy lace top. I always get compliments on it. It's a little longer in the back. Well, I liked it so much. I bought some stretch lace, you see, and I just laid it out and copied it. So I have two of those now. That would be probably pretty with these white leggings. But what I do for that lace top is I pair it with, excuse me, it's kind of caught here one of my teaching skirts. This is my longest teaching skirt. I got this on Discount Dance. Um, I'm only 5'5", five five, so it was super long in back. So I just took a, a pair of pinking shears and cut it. Um, and then it has this nice little three panel wrap over kind of gather effect. So it's one of those skirts that's shorter in the front and longer in the back which creates, you know, just a really nice, elegant line for your legs. Now, this is a, a little sweater coat that I would wear probably to and from the studio, uh, maybe warm up. But here's the leotard um, that I always put this shirt over it. Yeah, there we go. So there, and with the black skirt, black leggings, it's elegant, it's comfortable, and it's pretty, and it's part of my, my color scheme, <laughs> my capsule wardrobe color scheme. So um, what I'll do is I'll just put each of these on a hanger like I mentioned and showed you earlier. And then what I have left over here are these other two really nice shirts. And I'm so grateful that Yoga Club gave me these last year because I had not really experienced athleisure wear, is that how you say it, athleisure wear, uh, for teaching. But it takes like, it takes the, um, the benefits of that type of material, which is really actually uh, superior to most leotard materials. I mean, there could be leotard manufacturers that now are using the same technology, but I imagine it's fairly expensive. This one's, like I said, the gray and this black are by MPG. And when I, it's, they sent me size small, which was, I said I was, but it's, first I thought, I don't wanna wear that, it's too tight. It's just like a leotard. Well, I guess that's the point. <laughs> when you're doing yoga or I guess something in the gym or maybe some kind of dance class, you want it to form fit. But what I didn't realize is it wicks away moisture really great. And I love the design. I don't think you can see it very well in, in black. Do you see the design in the back if the camera's focusing on it? But let me hold up the gray one. Um, and there's this textured fabric on the side. It's actually no seams in the whole thing. These are not actually seams. They're just like little sewn um, decoration in a way. And in the back, it also has some sort of textured with this detail, but they're really, really comfy. I wouldn't say, you know, I had to go out and buy that brand or anything. I'm just showing you examples of what I think works for variety and comfort um, in ballet and what I'm going to do this year. <laughs> so I guess uh, the influencers on YouTube are rubbing off on me in terms of how to organize and uh, capsule wardrobe and 
all those kind of fun things. Now, I have a, a couple other tops over here. This is the one I was mentioning with the white leggings, the white and gray and black leggings. This is really subtle and nice. It's just a super cute little t-shirt that I think I might just make myself and copy one to wear around. I love the side tie. Now what I would do with that is I would pair it with this skirt that's become one of my favorites. It's just by Bullet, Bullet Point, I believe. Uh, it's like a stretch that the grain runs downward and it's in um, a couple panels and it's longer in back, shorter in the front and it looks super great ah! with any kind of legging underneath with this skirt and the tie is comes out over it. So I like to wear that a lot and fitting my palette is just a very lightweight hoodie here. It's like a cotton. I tend to overheat so I don't wear anything too heavy and most of these kind of things come off in the first few minutes. This one was my favorite last year. It's got a bunch of little bally things on it already but it's super super soft. Uh, it's by Threads for Thought and uh, I bought one of those little machines that shave off the pilling. I have a cashmere sweater that did that too. Man, that's so annoying, but it will make it look like new again. This little gray one is by Alternative Earth. So they're pretty nice and very, very simple classic. So the more simple the colors, the easier it is obviously to fit everything in. Now this shirt doesn't fit into the color scheme, but it's in my group because I went to the Pacific Northwest Ballet teaching seminar again last spring and I, I love that. If you are a teacher and have not been to that one, I'd say it's well worth it. And there's, they're, all their faculty work so well together and shares their knowledge and experience. So it's a pretty world-class training center. Okay. Oh, see this glass has a, has a poodle on it. <laughs> we have a big standard poodle. You've heard her barking in the background. Okay, so anyway, I bought this from them because I thought it was so cute. Plie, chasse, jeté all day. Pacific Northwest Ballet. All right, it's a lightweight, nice little soft cotton. I'm sure I could, you know, I could put it with the black leggings and a black skirt. It's not any, not any big deal. So what I tend to do is I'll wear a ballet shirt. Um, I also have one from YEGP that's black. I'll wear a ballet shirt or an athleisure wear type thing, or maybe an inex inexpensive type tunic, as long as it's plain and simple. So this Dusty Rose, it's by Leo and Nicole. I bought this in size large because I like drapey things to be loose when I'm teaching. Um, this is the Dusty Rose. I also, of course, have it in charcoal gray <laughs> and that will be going on the rack too. This is a nice style. It just has the sleeves that drape off. It's, it's nice and loose and roomy. And um, the other thing I've kind of been getting into is making my own mesh skirts for this fall. So I made my first one. It's a high low waist uh, hemline rather very flattering. Um, the only problem with the beige is if you're still wearing pink tights or, or beige tights, it looks great. I don't like it so much with the, um, you know, with black tights, the beige, but I mean, my friends at ballet say, oh, it looks fine, but it kind of bugs me. So you can see how pretty it would look with this camisole leotard. I have one in black as well. It's by Natalie. I bought them on Discount Dance Supply. I don't have any affiliation. I just, I just like them. Their leotards are pretty inexpensive. So, I do have some plum colored tights. Maybe that's what I'll wear with it. So just sharing some of my ideas. I hope you're hanging in there and enjoying this. Now, um, the other thing I want to show you is something kind of cool in this box. I don't know how many of you sew. This is on the YouTube channel. So here's the remnant of that beige, but I have a pretty teal. Well, they almost match, but they look pretty together. Ta-da. So I have this leotard. It's a size large because it was on sale and I love the back, right? 
Um, it was, it's too big, but I just took it up a little bit in the shoulders, no big deal. If you hand sew, you can do that. So I'm gonna make this same high-low skirt out of this gorgeous jade. I just think that's so pretty, but I have not had time yet, but it's on my agenda. I also have some blush, which will be so pretty with any of my kind of pink things. But I also have Dusty Rose, which matches really, really well with this shirt. So these are my little little project plans for the, for the fall. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I know that a, a lot of adult women anyway say that they have trouble, um, you know, they have, we have full grown bodies. We don't have little teenage bodies. Same with ballet teachers, we're grown up now. The grown-ups. <laughs> so sometimes it can be a challenge to find something you're comfortable with and you still feel attractive in, you know? Um, and I don't know if any of you male dancers have that dilemma, but you know, I would suggest for males, you could get easily get athleisure wear neat tops and wear them for, for dance. I think a lot of male teachers often wear pants to teach and so I I uh, think typically for women, we're the ones who are more interested, I would assume, in a capsule wardrobe, but hey, let me know what you think about that. And if you'd like to see more videos and be notified about when they are completed or uploaded, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to the right and you don't even have to check. You'll just be notified by an email. So I'll see you later. Happy dancing. Thank you. Hey, thanks for staying to the end. These are our pets. That's Gigi, the standard poodle. Peach is the cuddly baby cat, and Audrey, my purrball, who's in my dance bag. <laughs>